Yeah, that's because Saturn knows what it's doing. Like PS One, they didn't know how to, they did. The developers weren't that good with it. I don't think. Like some games look good. This game looks amazing. No, it does not look amazing. Okay, it looks for PS One. It looks good. Yeah, it does look amazing for PS. Spyro looks great. Metal Gear Solid looks nice. Most games on the PlayStation look fine. I don't know what the problem is. It's not the N sixty four. These games are too rare. Race, most racing no, games. Ridge Racer looks amazing. Gran Turismo 2 looks fantastic for the PS1. I think you're just talking crap for you. How dare you? Uh, that blasphemy against the freaking PS1. And then also, like, I don't know. I just don't think PS1 stands, holds a candle to PS2 and 3. I, I think it, I think it might, in a way, it's better. I, I like it more than the PS3. Let me say that now. Uh, I, I like it much more than the PS3. The has so many more games, though. No, because you it's forget a, a how many fantastic games. fighting games are on the PS1. How many I would, great say, I would games. say more is better than five. No, I mean yeah, exactly. There's no, so but many, I like, also added a variety of yeah, games. Yeah, I guess so. But even though even even variety, PS like the PS1 has three great okay, 2D quality. fighting games, 3D <laughs> fighting games. Better quality games as well. I wouldn't even call no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's all about win times win. <laughs> <time. laughs> No, let me finish. I wasn't, I wasn't about to say what's it called. I wasn't about to say. No, I don't even quality. We're really forgetting how many great fighting games say, on the PS4. I was going to say we can argue about quality because I feel like obviously that's subjective, but because quality, is, quality, the thing about quality and like in terms of like we're talking graphically, you can't really come. No, I'm just talking about games really, in general. Really like, that, there's no, there's no game like LA Noir on PS1. Because it could, they couldn't have been. Yeah, there also is no game like Crash Bandicoot on the PS3. Yeah, there is. What? what? Is? Probably is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's, I don't think there's a single really. Yeah. What? Oh God. You're saying there's no decent platform? Yeah, not like not, not like an arcade platform game. Alright, that's because the, the 3D platformers have pretty much died. Yeah, it's hard for the Nintendo Wii. What? Yeah. Uh, what? Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> that's it. No, no, I'm not saying 3D platformers alone. Two platformers as a whole. PS1 is like a hotspot for amazing platformers, and the PS3 doesn't compare. Yeah, fine. If, if, if and fighting games. Platformers I've mocked it for the fighting games. No, no, that's what? You're just using these. What did you say? If platformers are that important to you, that, that it will make a whole console better, then yeah. But platformers aren't important to you. It's not important. enough to the point where it makes PS1 better than PS3. That's a whole genre you're ignoring. I much prefer the yeah, fighting games. There's whole genres the PS1 that PS3 has that I PS1 doesn't that, have. Though, like what? Like whatever genre LA Noir is. Whatever I genre Red Dead Redemption is. You've gone way off the rails. Going into the I don't know. It's just Satan. I feel uh, there's a the wider variety of, of quality content on PS3 as opposed to PS1, oh and I think Ben agrees with me. I think the best on I think the I think best of the PS. I want to say Ben. I think Ben prefers PS3. Oh, don't I, talk for me, friends. <laughs> I think the best of the P. I think all of the like the highlight the, the games people think when they think PS1. People don't think a set list of you know, games when they think PS. Oh, yeah, that's because we don't we don't we don't have the we don't have the the power of, of, of retrospect. Yeah, we do. PS3 is the sun is set on the PS3 time. Yeah, but we don't actually have like we haven't actually sat down and had the time to really think. All right, what are the classics of the seventh generation? And then even if we have like we haven't let them like you know marinate in time to to to. to this is just classics. horribly designed. Like you can't tell how how close he is. I kind of can. That's bullshit. Absolutely. What have we got? Such was crap. <laughs> there are freaking games fraction of this age with much, much tighter platform controls. Yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't fully agree with you there, but I mean, there are some pretty freaking sweet ass games on the PS1. I'm not saying there isn't any sweet ass games on PS3. Yeah, but... you're just totally ignoring all the fighting games and racing games the PS1 has to offer. The PS3 I just can't live up. About fighting games. Uh, yeah, but then again, you could, we could say. So you just gave Tekken the finger, all the Street Fighter games the finger. Not the finger, I like them, they're good games, but they don't define a console to me. Um, uh, as opposed to like Red Dead Redemption and LA Noir. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, no, but that makes sense. Like, there's certain genres that resonate with people more. Yeah. I don't care about fighting games that much. Because I play them for like 10 minutes and then I'm bored. Like, I, I can't oh, sit really down. good at any. Oui. Yeah, like I, I don't sit down. Learning yeah, combos. I think that's where the that's where the problem is. You don't really get you choose not to get really get that good at a game. So, so yeah, like I like experience. I like to take an experience from a game without having to sit down with it for a hundred hours. That's just me as a person. Hundred hours is around the amount of time take to master a game. Then. Yeah, hundred hours is pretty. Is I wouldn't work with. I probably either. spent more than a hundred hours on League. I got three hundred into Smash. Nah, there's no way it's you been out for three months. There's no way you put three. You literally months. had to have not left the house that whole time. Dude, I don't even think I've played 300 hours on League. And I've been playing Jeez. that for two years. Why have to make the controller spin Constantly when you throw it? for two years. So I highly doubt that, Ben. 
nice try guy. Adam's on the bye. No, it was a high number. Like so games, games like games like um, um what was that game I played? Like like even games like um like the games I've enjoyed most in the seventh generation have been like Lost of Us. They've been like digital games. No, to us. <laughs> no, like digital games, like that. Those that two brothers game, whatever it was. Two called. brothers. <laughs> two brothers. Two brothers. Two brothers. Well, you don't want to know about it here, but I'll tell you one thing. They got a strong the moon bond. crashes into the earth. And what do you do then? <laughs> it's two brothers. It's two like, like games, games like that. Like you just they're, they're not, not really on the PS One. Mara, go ahead. Don't worry. Checkpoint. I got you. Too. Or like Journey or stuff like that. You know? See, I thought that was on the PS1, man. That's ridiculous. Journey is a good game, I'm not gonna lie. Journey is a great game, but how is that st- a game like that not on the PS1? Because it isn't. Because it wasn't made until it was made. Yeah, it's but I think you're not giving the PS1 um, library nearly enough credit just because you haven't really seen the full extent of it. Yeah, it's because I've, I've played PS... I grew up with PS3. So no. you're even just admitting that you're horribly biased. I'm not more PS- biased because I played a lot of PS1 games. No, I really. played more PS2. Bitch, I grew up on this. <laughs> yeah, we all grew up on this, but it's yeah. not all we grew up on. Like, I did a lot of growing up after I played this. It was. It's not like I played this and I was an adult. <laughs> and uh, now... Like, I, I played a lot of games after this. I don't know. If I had to pick a console, it would probably be PS2. Yeah, definitely. Most people would say PS2. PS2, is, it's, it's because I played a more variety of the games PS2 on the, the PS2. I definitely like, still hold the Genesis in... At least as high as it is. Yeah, but the Genesis can only do so much. Don't tell me that bull crap. Cause like, I, in my room alone, I've had I have there's more fun to be had on the Genesis than I can yeah, find. Yeah, but Genesis anywhere. doesn't have as many like good RPGs as, as Nintendo. As Super Nintendo, absolutely. yeah, that is one absolutely. Like Genesis, when I think of Genesis, Super Nintendo is also one of the best. I'd probably when I think of Genesis, Genesis, I think of like arcade games. Yeah, like, I've only played that. those for so long. Best platformers Black on the movie. Super Nintendo, best RPGs on the Super Nintendo, best side scrolling shooters on the yeah, Super Nintendo, I, best freaking Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo pretty much Nintendo. Just, just wins, kind of. The reason why I say PS2. Yeah, they got more combos than Basically, PS2 has. Like, what was my least favorite? I played, played, I played, a, more, I played a more variety of games yeah, on, the PS2, on the PS2 yeah. than I did with any other company. Yeah, because it has like, the biggest library PS, of video games. P- PS1 consisted of like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Croc. Children's games. Probably yeah. about it. I mean, I'm, that makes then, sense because you were a child. Then, then, then Nintendo came. Pokemon, that's all I played. Like, I really? played PS2, I played, I, played Star, I played Star Wars for a bunch of hours. I played. Uh, I played Ratchet and Clank, I played Crash Bandicoot again, I played... Well, where that, that, where that sucks for the PS2. I played Splinter Cell. We've actually done a lot of solid Metal talking about video Solids. games for once, just now. Freaking Metal Gear Solid. It always seems like it's something we find around. PS- Tekken. PS- Tekken, P- all of these games on PS2. And then this level is freaking then, hard. Then PS3 came, all I did was play Call of Duty. What sucks about PS2 <laughs> is like, it doesn't really have much No, you didn't. Enough. You had loads of fun with PS3. Yeah, exactly. All I did was playing Call of Duty. You want to talk about that? I mean, yeah, I think... Talking about with us. You played a lot of things with us. The thing that sucks about PS2 is it doesn't really have much of an identity. Yeah, that's because it's such a hot. No, but I do have to give it to the PS2. I have so much fun on it. My favorite game for it is probably Outrun 2006. Still. It's the best console we've ever had, in my opinion. Phenomenal. Yeah, for sure. I, I still think, I think as far as the best of the best games, you're definitely going to find it. I, mean, like, I don't think there's much point in making a best console of all time, because you should probably have more than one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to me, it's a three-way brawl between the Super Nintendo, the Genesis, and the PS2, and that's how it should be. There is no winner to that fight, because they all succeed in completely different areas. Yeah, but if I had well, to I believe pick, the way biases, they can achieve so much, In a popularity so contest, right. I'd, say, I'd say PS2 is in. In a popularity contest between, like, say, everything. That's because it's the best selling console of all time. Like, you can buy, like, Sega collections and stuff, so. Yeah, that, but that's that, and, and, kind of not a big, not very important. It's only super iconic that. and important games get ported to those things, so it's not really worth. Your stars mentioning. and your comics and everything. So this isn't that special of a game. Most people comics are sick. It's okay. Yeah, it's kind of fun, but it's not like a. We have it. Yeah, we do. Uh, it's not like a particularly good game. I I play it for like ten minutes and I get bored. Yeah, exactly. That's with most Genesis games. Yeah, now you say stuff like that, and I'm like. It's true though. I play most Genesis games in ten, for 10 minutes. Well, I play them for like an hour and beat them. Well, why does this guy have to be extra? Did they get it? Yeah, PS2 is cool. PS2 is definitely cool. It's also a hotbot for the worst games ever made. Be prepared yeah. for that. Yeah, but there's so many that. I just so that. many things to play with. I want to go back for it. Let me just get this checkpoint. Oh, this bonus round so hard. I don't think it's possible to have every PS2 game. 
Yeah, yeah it's definitely impossible because there's some of them are very rare. Yeah. It's, oh, PS3 is not a console known for having rare games, but it does have a few. PS3? No, PS2. It does have a few rare games here and there. That's a lot. What would you mean? Yeah, you're you're already a rare game like so Japanese games, games and stuff. Yeah, yeah, games that weren't recently limited. That's what I'm talking recent. about. The, the, all of them are going to be Japanese. But that's part of the collection. You want to miss games. I'm saying if you wanted every PS2 game, literally ever. Yeah, but that's that's I feel impossible. like it has, it, PS2 has so many games. Yeah, way, way too so many. That's why it has so much crap. So many terrible 3 My most antis- my most anticipated game for this year, I'm gonna say the five would be on Shot. Sorry, let me just Let me get the life first, because it's really hard to do. It's a jump and spin. Yeah, if you have to do that then Oh so hard. I lost the life to you, sorry. You lost three lives, what are you talking about? No. Woman no Yeah, sky. I'm trying to pull uh <laughs> Minecraft story mode. Uh no, well, I did it. Wow, double death. Give it to bio! Have you freaking had two goes and I have two goes. Fantastic. Can I give it to the bio? <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> uh, I thought he threw his bounce. Hurry! He's gonna stop throwing already! I thought he threw Oh, you have me. I thought he threw his bounce in, then roll him. Yeah, that makes sense when there's a gap there. Give me it, come on. Give me. Give me. I would just sacrifice two lives. <laughs> ben just dipped out of the race because he got bored. No, I was I was drinking. I was watching. Because I thought you just keep playing Kamara and girls through some of this. Yeah, but Kamara can get us through a hand sandwich. Piece of crap. Yeah, what am I saying? No Man's Sky. Wild. Um, All these sh- creepy ass games, they're one, one freaking word titles. What else is that freaking the hunt? Oh, you want him to be called freaking Mega Force? Oh, it's right. You know how to, you know how to kill this guy. Force, Tyrannosaurus Rex, um, South Alpha. Ovega. I don't want these freaking horribly Delta. autistic names in, in, in response to them. But where'd you get the blue booger from? Uh, in his rectum. Obviously. Kill him. Uh. Get him. Jump for it. Oh god. I've got a noob here. <laughs> A dirty scrub. All right, he's gonna jump off it this time, so we can't hurt him. All right, he's again. Oh my god! Shot him. Get him. What do you do? Why did you even get out then? Get him. He's an emoji. So this is my favorite boss in the game. This is like what? Outright fight. All right, he jumps up this time, so you can't hurt him. Actually- All right, he's again. Get him. To be honest, this probably has the worst. Uh, the, the worst. Oh my boss. god, Bagger, absolutely terrible. Give me that. Dude, this, uh, I think this, this, this Crash Bandicoot, in my opinion, has the worst boss battle ever. Crash Bandicoot has the worst everything. It's the worst in the series. I don't think it's the worst. Actually, wait. I think both the other, all the PS1s are way better. Yeah. I think, I think. I've played Crash 3 way too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm very bored of that game. That's why Crash 2 is my new favorite. Yeah. There's actually levels in Crash 2 I haven't played. I think Crash 2 has That's because no one can, but me bothered to 100% the game. I think Crash 2 Shut up, I did it and you haven't. Crash 2. Yeah, Crash 2. No. 100% it on my memory card. Yeah, we'll see. What do you mean, we'll see? I did it a year ago and then told you about it. No, you told me about Crash 1 Bio and tell him. Crash nah, 3. I, I remember him calling you. Yeah, about Crash 1 and Crash 3. They're both done, Crash you asswipe. They're on my phone. God, you freaking... You were at my house and I showed you my memory card like a few... Not even like a month ago. No, you the didn't. gems, you shoot freaking Embryo and... Oh my God, I'm not even going to waste my breath. This kid. Constantly questioning my Crash abilities. Not a bit of time. Yeah. Bio, the freaking struggle that was getting 100% on that game. Bio was there. Tell him. I honestly think that Crash 2 has the best. There, Crash 2 was absolutely there. Crash 2 has the best. Cool. Crash 2 has the best battles, boss battles. Out. Yeah. I think it's just the. Thoroughly... I'd say Tiny Tiger's my favorite. Yeah. I, mean, I, I like Tiny Tiger. In fact, no, Crash. Yeah, no, my, the fight with Dingo Dal from Crash 2. I don't like Crash 2. I don't like Tiny and Crash 2. Actually, you know what? Come on, now that you mention it, yeah. Dingo Dal fight, that's yeah, sick. Yeah, the Dingo Dal fight was probably the best. Like Crash 3. In Crash 3, yeah. Well, it was probably the best one. That's so easy. It's not, yeah, it's, but it's not about it being easy. I thought it was just the most fun. I also really like the final boss in Crash Bandicoot. In Crash 2. Uh, where you just oh, chasing just off the corpse. It's the easiest S level, but it's still pretty fun. You did it. This is like the only Crash game we've built in space. Uh, you gotta go to the sky. But, sky yeah. counts, right? Alright. Alright. 
No, no. But... Beating Crash 2 is also the hardest thing you can do. Ah, uh, yeah, the high game. road. Beating next... Crash 2 is harder than anything in this game. Yeah. I can promise you that. What, 100% in this yeah. game? Yeah, because you have to go basically to backtrack a lot, and it's really bad. What, in Crash 2? Yeah, and there's like ice and nitros and Ben. If, no, you, if you haven't have actually done it, you're lying again. Because if you've done it, you know, and you're down with the struggle. working on the new Mario? No, he said he's not working on any Mario. Is Toad's thingy out yet? Toad's Captain Toad? Yeah. Yeah, that freaking game is amazing. I don't care, 10 out of 10, even though I haven't played it. I didn't think it was that fun. What's um, his responsibilities for the world? He's supervising it. Consulting director. No, but what's his literal, like, what's his title? Supervisor. Consulting, I'm guessing consulting director, like Lauren Fouch in season two. Doing nothing. A side man. Jeez, Mario and Ham in the position. Man, he's doing more than what he did in Skyward Sword and all that crap. He's doing way more, but he's not enough. I thought he was pretty hands on. He's giving it to the guy with the glasses. That guy's the second time you said that. That guy with the glasses is a very, very popular YouTuber. I love the deck. Look at my glasses. Look at my glasses. I can't see without my. He's sick, though. For me, Mojo, trust him. He has to be sick. He's been there since Ocarina, he said. I don't even know how much power. Yeah, I doubt. I hang out with all my friends. That guy's fully in charge, by if you're wondering. Nah, I don't know how much. Of the Zelda friend, he is. I doubt it. Zelda's too big a name for Nintendo to trust him. He's already. He was. He was what making Twilight and Skyward. He made Twilight and Skyward Sword. No, I'm not saying he doesn't make the game. I'm just saying he doesn't have his ownership of his franchises. Oh shit! Like. Non-existent. I'm so amazing. Yeah, me and Motors. You cannot wait to read those dots. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't have much power. Oh wait. wait. Me and Motors does. Like, they, 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 they you guys, we've hardly even mentioned Naughty Dog. Like, let's talk about Naughty Dog and what they are up to after this Naughty series. Naughty Dog is the best developer. One of the best developers. I'm. I don't know how much I agree with that sentiment, but they are Which definitely very, very good. They're most consistent. Then, literally, the most consistent. How about Nintendo EAD? They're, oh, they're the. Yeah. Nintendo, baby. Nintendo's like it's not even a fixed group of people. Nintendo, Nintendo EAD is a specific team that works on all the Mario games. Oh yeah. Uh, we've also got Sonic Team, but they make bad <laughs> games. So whatever. Team. Wow. I kind of like. Yeah, yeah we got freaking salty ass. I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize. Yeah, you better How can you even defend Sonic Team? No one can. It's just Sonic Team are fine developers. I don't problem. The problem people they made so many good games. Sonic Lost World. Like what? Name three others. Sonic Colors? Wait, when did the kid, when did the team get developed again? Sonic Team developed in 1991. What do you mean? They weren't called Sonic Team back then. Yes, they were. We've oh, had this then, conversation then before. Then why'd you even ask, Bio? No, obviously not the latest Sonic games. No, no, wait, no. I'm going to end this conversation. Sonic Team is my favorite um, developer of all time. Because all the stuff they did in between the crap, the great Sonic games and the crap Sonic games were amazing. They made freaking Knights in the Dream, they made Burning Rangers, they made Wrist Star, they made Fantasy Star, they made, uh, what else they made? Mm. Fantasy Star Online, they, they made Puyo Pop, mm. they made, they made Choo Choo Rocket, they made Somebody Amigo, they made, they made the House of the Dead franchise. Sonic R. No, that was Traveler's Tales, God rest that poor soul. <laughs> but they made amazing games, so the yeah, team, of course. Traveler's Tales ever made a good game? They made uh, uh, Crash Wrath the Cortex. No, no, they never made a good game, never. <laughs> oh great, this is the worst yeah, right. level. Did they make Nitro Class a good game? I hate Nitro Class. No, this is the worst. It's decent. I I'm does. not saying you don't like it, but I'm saying to it's me, not I don't think of it. I don't think of there as being a middle ground with games anymore. There's no mixed or decent or mediocre. Me, there's good and bad. I don't care yeah, about like, the. You either like a game. Or you don't. Yeah. Either I'm having fun or I'm not. I'm not feeling grey or opaque. Did everything a sequel needed. No, I'm just saying that it's not fun game for me. Or anyone game. else who really did. Sometimes reviews are just right on the money. They nailed it with that I think game. video game reviews are usually pretty accurate to how I feel. No, not with any new games, to be honest. Like, no matter whether or like a found, if there's a Final Fantasy game, and it's like, oh yeah, fans always have a problem with that one. Ooh, that's the one where everybody said it got better. And no matter what, so it's gonna be 10, 10, 10, because they don't care. I'm talking about video game journalism, and how stupid it is. I think all journalists- all... Josh walked out the room, so he can't play right now. Who's turn this off, boss? I mean, obviously reviewing anything is dumb, but I think reviewing video games, I usually don't mind it like as much as anything else. What, TV show analysis? Oh uh, yeah, that's not bad either. Exactly, analyzing what a show is. That's your fault. Learn to catch. Oh, 
Why do you have to make it spin in the air, bro? I don't, no, I threw, not when you pass it through me. When I threw it, if it doesn't spin in the air. You always make it twizzle and stuff. Anyway. Oh, Travis Tales changed their logo. Yeah, they've made all the Lego games. They're really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They changed their logo. It's just TT now. So oh, they, yeah. They, they, right. They realized I have, I have a firm opinion on Lego games. Like, I think they're good because they're very consistent. But I don't enjoy them. Yeah, I'm talking mostly that. bringing up that, that for that reason. I'm bringing up Lego 2 and Lego Marvel and the first Lego Star Wars on PS2 because that's where it started. So that's what I'm bringing up. What do you mean bringing up? Bringing up as my defense for Lego. Oh no, you can't defend it. I either like it or not. There's nothing you can say. Exactly. He always thinks he can change my opinion. He's like, watch Kitty Chris's video. He likes Slide Through. Like, I don't freaking care. I know how I feel I've about played, it. I've played a lot of Lego games. For a long time, they they were coming out when I was like six years old, so they've been around for a while. Lego, even when I was a little little, little kid like playing at Connor's house, playing at Connor's house when you were, I don't even know where you were. Where were it's you? It's just that ever since they first came out when I was a little kid, they barely changed. What? Lego games. Don't know why we're talking oh, about. Dude, Travelers tells me it's Sonic Car. Yeah, they made Sonic Car on the beautiful Sonic 3D Blast. Look, he's you guys think it's like the same five guys, like making all these terrible games. They made Rapid Cortex, Toy Story Racer, Toy Story Buzz, like Muppet Race Mania. These are the only crap Toy Story games. The others were pretty good. Haven, Call of the King, oh, Haven's Oh good. no, Haven, Haven's a good game. They made Fire yeah, Nemo. Haven's one of those, one of those notoriously underrated games. I, I, calm down. They made, they, they freaking made Twin <laughs> Sons. <laughs> chill out. Exactly. Finding Pat, they Pat. made Finding Nemo. I, I played that game. I rated that from Blockbuster. Yeah, Dino, Star. Dino, Lego, Star Wars. Okay, Star. the Chronicles of Narnia, Lion, which is Woodrow. Yeah, Lego games, Lego games, man. I've got the first Super Lego game. Monkey Ball Adventure? Awesome. Super Monkey Ball Adventure? Oh yeah, my god, they one. did that. They did that. They made Transformers the game. The first one's good, though, the first Transformers. Yeah, you did everything Guinness World Records, the video game, what even is that? <laughs> and they've just stuck to Lego. They just stuck, that's all they've made. They just keep making Lego. Yep, they're done. Dude, the first Lego game I played was probably Lego Star Wars. Nice, thought it was really good. It was. And then, and then, then I played the second and then I played the second Lego Star Wars. 2007 the onwards, halfway to 2007, they just made Lego yeah. games for the rest I of the time. Wait a minute. Well, what can you do, you These know? All the same. Just, just do and then all you played a game that wasn't. Star Wars still, still all the same. Yeah, still the same. Did you die, Dubai? No, I haven't died. Alright, cool. Oh. This is the hardest level in Crash, by the way. So yeah, it probably is the hardest level. In, other hard. than Ben, did you actually beat Crash 200%? Yep. So you had to so you did all that stuff on the frost levels where you have to get the on the red gym. What? I remember when we I guess you forgot. Remember when we finished this game in one sitting uh, in the There's a kid babe. You did not do that as a yeah, kid. Did. Cause I had oh, the memory card, we, I, had the memory card. One. I saw the, I had the memory card saved here and I saw the embryo ending and I remembered it. I guess YouTube wasn't a when you were a kid. No, cause I didn't know about the internet, we were been through this. It was there and we never used it cause we didn't care, we didn't have computers. We I did, I did, I did. That's where I got my pictures from. No. Yeah, and the stupid computer what? games you had in Harrington Street. We never used it for anything useful, ever. I remember I used to be obsessed with Shadow the Hedgehog. Mara? You uh, did? Uh, Mara, uh, you, uh, you did fill me up. Oh, I see. The answer. Shadow the Hedgehog, dude. He's a cool guy. He's a super shiny He's a shrine to autism. That's what I think first when I think of Spurgeon. He's just freaking saying his version of Vegeta. What the fuck are you talking about? Is that, he's just Vegeta. Yeah. Except less cool less in angry. every way. Less, less annoying and angry. No, bro, no, but you actually go through a distinct character arc instead of just resetting every game. God. Makes freaking oh, no. Dragon Ball Z characters seem deep. That's how bad Shadow Hedgehog is. <laughs> hmm. At least, at least, at least freaking Vegeta doesn't grunt every five seconds. <laughs> Where's that damn fourth chaos? <laughs> yeah, Shadow the Hedgehog game sucked. Was, was that the time when it started? When, when everything? I think that was the game that when everything started going down. Kind of. It was kind of like a World Trade Center effect where oh, they everything just turned really into one started huge. Going what was before that? Sonic Heroes. Right, personally, I'd say Sonic, Sonic Heroes. Personally, I'd say a Sonic Adventure. 
The first one? Well, people, yeah, that's where they stopped becoming really good games. Yeah, but, became but Ben would like, disagree with me. So I'd say Sonic Heroes is when it officially was like... Yeah, even Ben knows to avoid that game now. He finally had, he hit, had the last straw. But when sometimes when I, see, I still see the Sonic Heroes... That's still decent, though. Yeah. I, I don't believe average, in average 6.0 like yeah average. but I don't believe in that score I think that score is worthless and stupid the game's good or it's bad and that game is bad no, it's average. average I'm saying the job done what's the job it's entertaining me it what's fails the, miserably just to like passively like sit down and play a game no, it's just a 3D platform. It just good, does it. It's just honest, a 3D I actually platform. have good memories of Everyone has good memories yeah, of it. Yeah, I have good, I have good memories I can't, of it. I can not for the life of me put it in my PlayStation. Well, I think the, no memories, good it's the memories that make it the game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, good or bad. you can have good memories kicking a piece of poo around. Depends what you do. If you're incredibly you? deranged. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man? That's I'm saying <laughs> anything, you can attach good memories to any experience. <sighs> He doesn't really I shot myself that one time. Batteries running good low. Good memories, am I right? Is that what you're trying to say? That's what Bio considers yeah. a good time. Freaking I'm not freak. Saying that. Dude, I can't see. I, mean, I didn't even realize I jumped on that one. What's this? Josh, you're on, the, you're on the wire. I gotta plug the laptop on. Okay. I'll just move the laptop. Alright, that's fine. There we go. Alright. Well, yeah, as I was saying, freaking heroes, I remember like, yeah, it was a great game for kids, but I still ask a kid to play a really good one. Pretty sure if I played it now, I'd probably want to kill myself. Yeah, you did, we, 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 we played multiplayer, we played multiplayer on the yeah. casino level. Yeah. Remember, me and you, we played multiplayer on the level ago, back over here. I still see the box on it, like, like, like it. That's one of the greatest, one of the greatest yeah, box of greatest all time. It does its job yeah. beautifully. I think that's probably one of the reasons ex- why. Another thing exploding with glucose. PS2 was an era where box art was still pretty good. Now it's just terrible. Box art sucks now. PS4 looks so just badly it done. It's incredibly you know, ugly. Yo, you know, I went for a time when I was at your house, right? When um, this was after you beat Sonic of Six. Yeah. And I was fucking. I woke up earlier than you guys, right? <laughs> It's dark ages. <laughs> I, like, I never even hear the term Sonic 06 associated with like actual application. And I was just cool with crap. And I was um, and I was wandering around for, for, for games to play. And oh, I saw on our brand new PS3. Yeah. And yeah. Was, and, uh, <laughs> there were absolutely none. And we didn't even play PS2 Super, Super games. Rubber Dub demo. Yeah. <laughs> for the million freaking time. On disc. <laughs> and uh. On disc. Oh god, we didn't even know how to download it onto the console. I know. Uh, Jesus freaking Christ, what the fuck? Bunch of po' boys. Freaking, what's it called? I remember, I remember just like, oh yeah, Sonic 06, nah, let's not play that. Then I looked at the box art and I was like, you know, I might as well. Yeah, it's kind of rad yeah, looking. Played it, bad, yeah. played it, died once. Turned it off. That's my yeah, story. Yeah, I, I had a brief moment of like, feeling nostalgic for Sonic 06 <gasps> and you're like, yo, this game might be okay. Yeah. It, it might have its little moment. Yeah, That's because yeah. you're getting pissed off. With, I remember that. You're getting pissed off with Sonic Unleashed and thinking, oh wow, I just kind of wish I had Sonic 06 back here again. Dude, why the hell did you buy a Sonic Unleashed? That was not my fault. I, I no, dissociated myself with yeah. Sonic completely. I was like, I'm done. The thing is, yeah, I've loved when my we got that game... But Dad bought it for me. Nah, but when we got that game, we, we, we fully like, stopped playing Sonic games, so we yeah, didn't even... Yeah, I didn't even play the old ones. I'd sold Sonic Heroes. Yeah, we I wasn't paying attention to any so of the promos. So when we played like, the daytime stages, and it was sick. We it like, blew what? my freaking mind. Yeah, that was live. I actually thought you were kidding when you told me there was a wolf in that game. I thought it was a joke. He's on the front of the wolf. No, but you told me like in the promo, you're the making a new Sonic game. I'm like, oh, sick. I don't freaking care. Play Little Planet over there. And you're like, no, there's a wolf in it. He's called it Sonic of War. Bro. In, um, in Japan, they call it Sonic, um, World Adventure. <laughs> Sonic what? World Adventure. Because that should have been the theme of the game that they focused on, exploring the yeah, corners of the world. They should have left out Instead the of the whole nighttime, daytime garbage. I want to kill something. Well, I did like the animation of the World War 2. No, because the frame rate goes to high hell. Yeah. It's the animation. Yeah, PS Day. You know the werehog is better than Sonic Boom. Very funny, but they, they published 
They publish all the Transformers games. Destiny. All right, guys, we've been here for a while, so I'm just gonna plow through it. I'm sorry. Amazing games suck. Amazing Spider-Man Two was decent. That sucked. No, people admired it for like trying. It was decent. <laughs> we, <laughs> were, we, we admired you for trying. We're a little golf. I don't remember when that was a good review for a game. <laughs> no, it was good. We like, it was good. Was it? it was like it was really good, like a but they expected to it to be Spider-Man Two good or Ultimate Spider-Man good, but it wasn't. Nah, it was poor. It hyped it too much. Seven point nine, too much war. <laughs> I had seven point eight, and they hyped it too much. <laughs> No, I think when we talk about like whether a game's good or not, if we haven't played it, you just have to go with the reviews and the reviews of Who made that Spider-Man. review again? It was just she I think she left. Man. Skylanders. Yeah, she better have left. I freaking know. Because her entire review was wholly positive and she only so, yeah, mentioned more, right, so she gave it seven point eight. Yes. That's why the Skylanders. Jokes Dude, if, if, uh, yeah, if, we're talking about, if like, other people didn't send their death for threats, I probably would have. If we're talking no, about them making some money, money and yeah, Activision's making a lot of money, but Skyland isn't actually that good of a game. No, no, no. Yeah, it's it is. Terrible. It's, it's decent. It's a game it's a for little game. kids. It's freaking garbage. Shut up. <laughs> no, I seriously, shut up. You know what the F you're talking about. You don't even play these games. You should run your big mouth, bro. <laughs> Oh god, it's freaking uh, garbage. I've played Skylanders. No, you haven't. I think, I, yeah, I think, I think I'm down with Skylanders, if I'm honest. I've I think seen I know it, what it's I've about. I've seen it Yeah, I think, I, I think I, I'm, I'm qualified enough Skylanders. to say it. I just it's, don't it's, like it. It's not, a, it's not a deep game by any means. It's a kid's game, and that's yeah, all there is to it. It's a game for marketing. It's like the freaking Sonic Boom of video games. That's what I'm saying. Activision's making a lot of money. They're it's not the making a lot of... the Ben 10 of video games. They're not making a lot of quality content. But other than Call of Duty, they haven't really got much to their name. Yeah, Call of Duty and Skylanders, those are big money. Okay, things are going freaking fast now. Call of Duty is all they really need to be honest. Man, there needs to be like, there needs to be like some sort of like revival of... Crash Bandicoot. These, nah, forget Crash Bandicoot. Why? Totally forget Crash Bandicoot. Oh, you, 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 you're telling me if there was no Crash, new Crash Bandicoot game coming out, you would not be excited. I'd be excited, but I'm not, I'm not holding my breath for it or caring about it. Yeah, why? Well, what's wrong? I don't understand. You'd be excited, but you wouldn't care. Like, you, you guys no, are celebrity right mentality. Now. You can't let a great game just like... No, right now. Cool. I'm saying, saying if, if it was announced, I'd be excited. But right now, I don't care. I'm not thinking about it. But no, nah, what I'm saying is there needs to be a revival of like the, the war, um, like genre, war like genre in games, because it's so boring. Like war games now, they're so repetitive. They are very repetitive. But war games are never that good. Like I, yeah, they were like Medal of Honor and all of them. Like they yeah, had great stories. Medal of, Honor, Medal of Honor, PS, what, PS. Do you even Call of Duty? Like Call of Duty was a. Was a Call, yeah, people telling me Call Three is like this great game. I'm like, yeah, what? like Call of Duty was, had amazing games, like good stories and like. They were immersive and stuff, but now it's like, you know, shoot the brown people. <laughs> that's, that's just every game. Yeah, now. that's every game now so far. <laughs> Kill them! Kill them. Oh, you and your henchmen with little heads. And then there's this like <laughs> a round. And then there's like a big explosion. It's yeah. And then and then oh, it's slow motion. And... Everybody's just copying each other. It's a big. Yeah, brain. Call of Duty went, like banged on recently, and then everyone's just been copying that since. What was it supposed to do there? It's supposed to. Not hit the freaking TMT. Then we'll go where? Go um, forward. Pass. I know, that's a bonus stage, faggot. Know your place. Oh, did we make that rule? Yeah, yes, of course. If I if it, if it wasn't playing so good, I wouldn't have got to the bonus stage. So it'd be malicious to get take control away from me. Whatever it just, it would just be insane. Yeah, I'd like to make a video game. Or, you know, direct a video game. Why do Squinix Japan bought the rights to Spyro in 2013? Square Enix. Yeah. Japanese Square Enix. Yeah, they, no, they own loads of stuff. They probably they the right they make freaking the... Monica toys. They do anything yeah, they want. Enix, they why did they it. buy it? Because it'd be the game rights. Like, they're going to do something with it. Maybe they will. Who owns Crash Bandicoot right now? Uh, it's Activision. still Activision. And it and says they have the no president. Like, they haven't said he's dead. Because the All Stars thing made people ask why him. Why do they? Said, no, but the thing is, like, yeah, seriously, what's the matter? The, what's the, wrong with letting a great series just stop being created?